It is so nice to talk to you both today. I love this show. It, it's it's amazing. And I, I love that you've already been renewed for a second season. That's fantastic. Thank you. We, we love it too. We very much love it. <laughs> Well, you know, starting with you, Jewel, you know, how do you describe her? Because she's, she's, you know, really tough. And yet you can tell that she's also really struggling. She, she's a dichotomy. All right. She uh, has a toughness about her that I think is masking uh, vulnerability. She wears her heart on her sleeve. She tells it like it is. She fights for the underdog. Um, and she makes a few blunders along the way but she's willing to make mistakes and break some rules in order to get her, her clients, uh, you know, the best deal possible. And she's funny, she's lots of fun. <laughs> Harry, for playing Harry Victor, you know, he's, he's an old school classic kind of lawyer, the kind of guy, you know, you expect in a show like this, but you know, you can tell he's, he's struggling in a different way. How does he look at Abby for starters? Uh, very uh, carefully. <laughs> He's, uh, you know, the, the, the initial, the initial, the, I mean, the first episode is that, is that great scene where he, where you realize she's talking to her father and this is not just a, a, a an interview with a, another lawyer. And I, I love, I love the way that's written. And I also find it um, very moving. And I think Harry's, you know, issues are, are she, she brings them up in him and he, what he, I think the, the good thing about Harry is that he's willing to look at them, not completely, but trying really hard to get a hold on things and a grasp on things. And when he meets his grandson and his granddaughter, you know, that's a very, and you realize that he realizes that there's way more in life than he has let in. And so he's, he's in his own, dysfunctional way trying to find that connection i love the fact that the second episode where the whole conversation about the website comes up and it kind of is that moment where it feels like he's he's trying to let go of the past and move on but you know still figuring that out i guess it's kind of like me every day really <laughs> you, should have, you should have seen me trying to get on this zoom this morning it was like it's like yeah and i had no help jewel wasn't here I'm uh, sorry. I almost called. I really did. I thought to myself, maybe I should call and help him get on. This yeah. Uh, a jewel, jewel has become uh, kind of, well, in a, in a surrogate daughter in a way, because although she's more like, like a parent, because uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, she knows she's very smart, um, as, as is Abigail. So she's kind of, she's perfectly cast. And uh, oh, wow. it's a joy to watch her navigate every day on the script and it's it's like it's like watching a master class when she's on the set. Yeah, says so you. I feel the oh. same way about you as you okay. know. And you have to say it. You have to say it. I said it first. No, it, he's he's a very good mentor for me in lots of ways. Um, how to navigate this entire show, shooting this thing is is it's a lot of work for me. It's a heavy heavy workload, and he's very good at reminding me to conserve my energy and delegate my energy properly and if I don't have Victor on set if he has the day off or something I miss him and I I need him <laughs> so well, most, mostly, very mostly, good what care. I, mostly what I say to her is you can say no yes that's what I say most of the time Victor says we need say, to work on you saying no to people yes. so I'm like okay right okay <laughs> the good Canadian girl in me is uh very yeah. quick to say yes mm -hmm. <laughs> well Jewel for you I love the fact that Abby's also navigating this family and and part of the family mm -hmm. that she really hasn't been close to uh how does she how does she look at them you know how does she see them well I think there's a lot of resentment and jealousy there especially in the beginning Lucy is clearly the favorite. She's the baby and she gets all of the love and attention and affection from her dad that Abby has always craved. So she goes in feeling rather resentful towards Lucy. And that, that changes as time goes on. Lucy's uh, very pushy in that she wants a big sister and, and wants Abby to fill that role. 
pretty much right away. Um, so she lets Lucy in. And with Daniel, there's this really competitive edge. Daniel's incredibly competitive and very insecure um, and, and wants his dad's love and affection and approval as well, but goes about it in a different way. And uh, I always say that Abby uh, treats Daniel like crap to his face and defends him behind his back. <laughs> Uh, and uh, sort of goes to bat for him, especially uh, when it comes to Harry. He says, you know, Daniel's doing a really good job. I don't know if you know that, but he's actually a great lawyer. But she would certainly never say that to Daniel's face, ever. Well, I love the fact, of course, they're dealing with family issues uh, outside and in at the same time. It's, it's a great mix of storytelling. Uh, where do they go this, this season? Are they, are they coming together? Do they, do they come together this season? Well, they, they, you know, it, it's it's in degrees. It's all in degrees, you know, and it changes. It changes with every case, and it changes with every uh, slight that that is, is, you know. That's the thing uh, to me that makes it uh, interesting is it's actually authentic. Uh, to me, it feels like this is this. I believe this, and you know, it's rare that I I read I have a scene where I think. And, and often, uh, you know, Susan, who created the show, she's very open to, to discussing that and really wants our input, uh, which is very little because they're all great scripts and they're great writers. But, but if there's even one little thing that feels could be tweaked, they're open to all of that. And uh, so what I feel is it's just life continuing, uh, mm -hmm. like in our, like, which is what makes it worth watching, frankly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they come together and then they get mad at each other and, and come apart. And then they come together again, they come apart. So it's, it, it is a, a very real depiction of a messy family full of very flawed people who are discovering a lot about themselves as, as time goes on. But it's so funny because I watch a lot of shows where there's flawed people. And I, I mean, that's, that's, that's usually what the story is. But at the yeah. same time, they feel flawed not in some really grandiose way. They feel flawed in just normal ways, which is so accessible. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you feel that way. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so did you have any favorite episodes or a favorite scene that you can talk about? Something that, that was just, it, it really hit the moment for you? There are, I could say something about every episode that we shot. I, I think there are some really interesting and timely themes in there. And, and I, I think that was almost a lot of the time by accident, the scripts that the writers had written by some weird uh, turn of, of chance seemed to coincide with current events a lot of the time. Yes. Um, and, and like I was saying before, there's a lot of black and white. So at the end of the episode, you're not really sure who to root for. There's, a, there's an episode in, in season one at the end, I think episode nine, between a, a mother and her two daughters and she's elderly and, and feels she deserves financial support from her daughters and her daughters are saying you know basically you were emotionally abusive and I had a terrible childhood and you don't deserve any of my money um, and and they're all reliving the same memories but it, their memories are convoluted and they all have their own perception of how things went down. So in the end, you're really left scratching your head and going, gosh, I don't really know. I don't know if she just deserves the money. If she doesn't, I, I don't know who's right. I don't know who's wrong. Um, it's, it, it's always very interesting in that at the end of the episode, you're really left thinking, I'm, I'm not sure who to root for. Yeah. Did you have a favorite episode or scene? Victor? Um, I've got many favorite scenes and I can never remember which episode they're in. <laughs> so, but uh, I've, I've had um, I've had a couple with uh, Jewel, certainly uh, this last season, which is season two, uh, that, that was one of, I think, one of the best scenes um, we've had and very, very uh, emotional for both of us. Um, and that, that happens quite often on this show. There's just... Uh, there are even little, even little short moments, you know, with Dan. I have this hilarious relationship with my son that I find, and, and he's so, so much fun to work with. Zach Smedu is like a, or Zachary, as I like to call him. Uh, uh, he's, he's so, um, he's just so easy to, to just deflate, you know, uh, and, and as a character and as in life. And, um, but he's, he's an angel and he's really gifted 
and Janelle uh, Williams, that there are my other, my daughter, my other daughter, who is uh, supposedly the favorite, but there's a whole thing about that that happens in season two. Um, you know, they, they're just, um, my favorite thing is when the four of us are all in the same scene. That's, and that happens all the time, but it's never enough. You know, that when we look at the day and we think, oh, we've got four scenes together, we're all very, very happy because we play off each other in the way I've always believed acting should be. And, you know, they, 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 they teach me every time. So I, 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 I just love working on this show. Well, it's a delight to watch. I, I've loved every, everything I've seen so far. Last thing I'll ask you is what do you hope fans take away from it when they see it? What do you, what do you hope they get from it? Well, I think our aim, or I should say the writer's aim uh, was to make you laugh and make you cry in each episode. <laughs> it's really, it's, it's the kind of show that makes you burst out laughing and shocks you a little bit. And then uh, in the end, we, we just want to break you down and make you cry. Um, so <laughs> I, I, I hope they feel something, hope they come away from it, uh, you know, getting hit in the feels. My, my goal, my hope is that families, like my, my, my great nieces and their, their parents, can all watch this show together. There's nothing, I think there's nothing that is off limits for, for younger kids, like, you know, mature younger kids. And I think that, that it is in the true sense a family show, mm -hmm. uh, which, which I think is uh, wonderful to have. And, and, and it's, it's authentic. It's not, it's not uh, playing down to any, anyone or any group of people. It's really, uh, and that's my hope that people take away from it, uh, that, that it's, you know, they call their friends and say, you've got to see this show. Well, thank you both so much. Really a pleasure to talk to you both. Have a wonderful day and thank I can't wait to see what fans say about it. Thank, thank you, you so much. Have a good nice one. Nice to meet you. Have a good day.